since I was graduated, I was appointed as a teaching assistant. And during this time, I finished my master's degrees, which was a collaborative work in molecular genetics and instrumental analysis. I defended my thesis in Feb 2015. Then, at this point of my life, I was faced with the question whether to pursue, to continue my academic studies and postgraduate studies and academic life, or to pursue and have some corporate life experience. I decided to make it simple for myself and take the chance to, uh, to try corporate life. I did mass applications in, in different pharmaceutical companies. Among them was Novartis. I found an advertisement for the International BioCamp, which is a workshop sponsored by Novartis Pharmaceutical Company. It's an annual workshop that brings uh, top students from all over the world after very careful selection in order to know about the multi-faced world of biotechnology. They choose only two students. Unfortunately, I was one of the chosen uh, students in order to represent Egypt. In Novartis Basel, Switzerland campus, I didn't believe myself. The agenda was very packed. A lot of uh, professors from different backgrounds, business backgrounds and biotechnological backgrounds lectured us. They didn't only lecture us, but we also had the opportunity in order to talk to, with them face to face and share with them their experience, which might easily shape the future of, if not all of us, some of us at least. Towards the end of the workshop, they, uh, they distributed a case study which, um, in which we were asked to how to start our biotechnological company. All the participants there were divided into groups. The most important thing about the group selection that every group had discrete backgrounds with different experiences. It was very important in order to blend and mingle and share experiences in order to have the maximum benefit. Every group was asked to present their presentations in front of a panel of juries of Novartis Biocamp. Actually, they chose a representative from each group in order to present their plan. And luckily, I was one of the chosen candidates in order to present. After finishing the presentation, towards the end of this happy day, I was invited to attend a press conference in order to share my experience there. I was interviewed by a Swiss journalist and he wrote my experience there. And actually, my experience is published in a Swiss newspaper. After getting to Egypt, I was invited once more to attend a biocamp, but this time a local one, which is sponsored by Novartis. The main aim of this biocamp was to share my experience, me and my colleagues' experience, with the, with the candidates that didn't have the opportunity to travel. In a nutshell, this workshop helped me to know the breakthrough in medicines in order to meet the unmet medical needs in patients by understanding the trends and challenges in biotechnological sector. It also helped me to gain first-hand experience on how to start up my biotech company. Last but not least, and most importantly actually, it broadened the scope of different career opportunities that in, in different pharmaceutical and biotechnological fields, which was my problem at the beginning, as I was hesitant whether to pursue academic studies and to continue postgraduate studies or to merge, as the workshop helped me in merging marketing, or business um, uh, experience with biotechnological experience. My take home messages to every one of you that always participate in extracurricular activities. I was told by one of the juries there in one of the dinners that they concentrated more on the extracurricular activities. The candidate should have extracurricular activities and should participate. And this helps the candidates to unravel the strengths in their personalities in different fields, not only academically, but also in different business fields like uh, public relation fields, fundraising fields, and many more. GUC actually widely offers this opportunity, so please seize the opportunity. As they always say, leave the best to the last. And as Anne Fudge, one of the board of directors of Novartis, closed her speech with, always be creative, always question, and most importantly, challenge. If you're challenged, every day will be a new beginning and your life will be a story. So, my advice to every one of you, never underestimate your capabilities, always explore, and always challenge, as Anne Fudge said.